one can live here anymore. The Ukrainian Air Force has been bombing Mariinka, a suburb of Donetsk, for two days now. People are desperate to get out. Most are heading towards the Russian border, but some are seeking refuge with relatives in the center of Donetsk. Residents like Svetlana Pantaleyeva and her children. The bomb attacks were absolutely awful. I can't even put it into words. They've been blowing up our houses. I'm just grateful that we were brought out. Donetsk has become a flashpoint in the conflict. Along with Luhansk, it's one of the last strongholds of the pro-Russian separatists. The Ukrainian military has surrounded both cities and has pounded them with airstrikes. Just over the border in Russia, a man was killed by a shell fired from the Ukrainian side. Moscow said it was a deliberate provocation and threatened retaliation. This has added to the tension. Kiev denies any responsibility. We are not attacking neighboring countries. The separatists fired across the border themselves in order to provoke a Russian attack. A hastily arranged meeting between German Chancellor Angela Merkel and Russian President Vladimir Putin demonstrates how pressurized the situation has become. They met shortly before the World Cup final in Brazil and agreed that direct negotiations between the Ukrainian government and the separatists' leadership were necessary. But right now, on the ground, dialogue seems a long way away. The Ukrainian army is continuing its attacks in the east and people are fleeing the fighting.